Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. This is just going to be a little quickie, a little free quickie. Um, Penny has shown me several things. Now, I, I can't tell you exactly how you will feel things because I feel energy different than you're going to feel it. But I'm going to give you a roundabout because she's shown me several things. One, you're going to feel like like when she's panting and she's looking at you for a treat. And a drop of drool is going to drop on your foot. Whether it'll be actual wet spot or it will just feel like it, I'm not sure. Um, it's up, it's up to her. She's wagging her tail, just wagging, wagging. And every so often, you're going to feel that thump. Like you might be, let's just say you'll be sitting on a chair and you feels like something like, like her tail thumping your leg as she's wagging her tail. Know that that's real. Know that that's her. Also, something about her breath. Something about smelling her breath. That maybe she didn't have the best the best doggy breath. <laughs> Is she a bad doggy breath? You will smell that. And you don't have to be in your home. You can be in the store, in your car, outside. Doesn't matter where you're at. And you smell that doggy breath. Know that that's her stopping in to let you know that she's there. And she loves you and she's okay. She's so sweet and full of love. And she says, that's thanks to you for being such a great human and giving her so much love. That she, most dogs have unconditional love unless you just raise them to be real mean assholes, you know, unless you just really mistreat them. They just have unconditional love. And she had an overabundance of it because you gave her an over, overabundance. Oh, I want to cry. I love fur babies. And, and matter of fact, I got to get off of here real quick because I have to take the bigger one to the vet to get her heartworm shot. She, now this may not be the exact toy, but she's showing, and maybe, the, I think she's trying to validate that it's her. Not sure if this is going to happen or if this is something she used to do, but it's like one of those ropes, you know, those big ropes that have the knots on the ends, toy, that type of toy. That's the type of toy she's showing. Could be exact, could be she just showing me something big so I know she's got a toy. Anyway, and... It's laying on the floor and she takes her nose and she pushes it and it kind of, to kind of make it roll, it doesn't, she's not showing like it roll, roll, rolls, but it, she nudges it and it rolls over a little bit and she nudges it with her nose again and it rolls forward like a smidgen. So I don't know if you have a toy like that and it's going to move or if this is something she used to do and she's trying to validate that it's her. She's just so sweet. There's just, you know, I quit charging for doing animals because there's just so much they can say. You know, they're not going to give me in half an hour. Blah, blah, blah. She feels blessed and she's thanking you. For being her human. She's, she's indicating because she could have been one of those neglected, tied outside in the rain dogs. And she wasn't. And she feels blessed. She's showing herself with a big black. I'm going to say Labrador because it's that type of body, that size, but this dog has 
a little bit shaggier hair than most labs that I know. Most labs are really short haired, slick haired. This one has. Here's your reminder. Millie vest. My reminder went off to take Millie to the vet. That's my dog. That's grandson's big dog. Wish me luck. Here's your reminder. Millie vest. So. Anything that happens when I'm doing a reading for somebody is for you. I'm not sure how Millie Vet from A-L-E-X-A, how that, how that would tie in with you, but there's something in that for you. She's precious. She's showing like she either did or she's going to like curl up next to you and then kind of wiggle and try to push a little closer and like like she's curled up beside you but she's wiggling trying to get even though she's right next to you touching you trying to get a little closer trying where you almost feel like you need to move over it's like what like you're being butted out but she's not she just wanted to be closer to your energy you might feel this not sure how you will feel it. More than likely, it'll be very slight. Or you might just feel like the couch or chair wiggling or bed or something. Wiggle next to you. like, Or you might feel it pushing on your hip. I'm not sure. I hate being vague, but I just don't know where, how this will, what she's conveying here for 100% for sure. It's up to her. It's her ball game. So know that you're going to get a whole bunch of signs from her. Know that she felt totally unconditionally loved you, making me want to cry. Um, know that she's thanking you. She says, know that you were her heart and soul. And she is good. Oh, anyway, I'm not sure why she was validating this other dog that's up there with her. I don't know if you had another dog similar to that. I may not have described it well enough, but, um, or somebody else's fur baby that needs to know that it's okay and she's allowing it to be shown. They are so amazing on the other side. They know what we need to hear. Okay. Much love to you, my dear. Watch for those signs. When you get those signs, any of them, validate her, acknowledge her, tell her you love her, and ask her to bring you more signs to let you know that she's okay. She's happy. She's got the bright look in her eyes. Her tongue's hanging out. She's tails a wagging. So full of love. But most dogs are and we take it for granted. But love my babies. Okay, much love to you. Got to get mine ready for the vet. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator. Voice for your loved ones. Later.